Hi YouTube, this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. You can find me on the web, CaltonCutlery.com. So today we got an unboxing video. I just got a box in the mail from Sharpening Supplies. SharpeningSupplies.com. I believe I've ordered from them before, um, but uh, I was after a, uh, a big Norton Crystalline uh, combination coarse fine. Um, I've got one, uh, you've seen it in some other videos, that I picked up at a yard sale oh, 10 years ago for three bucks, something like that. And uh, it's like an 11 inch, something like that long. And I noticed that Sharpening Supplies had one, um, I want to say it was a full 12 inch for uh, uh, like $52, something like that. And I really love that stone and I like large sharpening stones. So I ordered it up along with some other goodies. Um, so let's take a look at it. Yeah, I ordered this right before Christmas. It was uh, they had a free shipping if you spent more than a um, uh, hundred bucks, I want to say. And so, uh, yep. So we've got some some pretty interesting stones uh, in here, I think. All right. Well, it seems to be packaged pretty good. We got some bubble wrap there, and some more wrap here, some more wrap here, some more wrap here, and some Norton sharpening oil, which um, I usually just use mineral oil, but I wanted to see, um, I wanted to just play with some regular commercial uh, uh, sharpening oil. Oh, a nice catalog. We'll set that off to the side. There might be some more stuff from them that I just can't live without. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, this right here, this I'm pretty interested in. This is a Norton, um, what do they call it? It's a slipstone, but they've got a, a fancy name for it. Okay. So this one, I think, is the Norton Multiform Super Slip. Um, I got two of them on here, uh, one in medium India and one in fine India. This one right here looks like uh, a fine India stone to me. What I was really hoping to uh, use this stone for is um, cleaning up uh, heat treat uh, scale, you know, discoloration and stuff off the inside of lockbacks. So like the, uh, I don't know that I've got one. Here's one of my toggle locks. And of course you all probably won't be able to see this, but you know the notch that's inside the blade? You know, you cut that pretty close to fit before heat treat and then you um, use, uh, oh, it's a, a anti-scaling compound. You dip the blade in that and then you go ahead and heat treat it. And it does a fine job, don't get me wrong, but there's always that last little bit of nastiness inside that lock, uh, or inside that notch, that's kind of tough to clean out. Um, so most of the time I just wrap, uh, you know, some sandpaper around a, a small file or something and get up in there and clean it up. But as that sandpaper goes past, it kind of, it, the sandpaper kind of flexes on the file a little bit. Um, kind of hard to describe but I was hoping that having a couple of stones uh, would really help out with that and so this is it's got tapers in two different directions see how it's thick here and thinner up here and this is a rounded surface here so you could also use this for like uh, chisel or uh, uh, gouges and then this side is just flat it's still got the taper because the whole stone is tapered and then this right here is cut at an angle. So you get a nice sharp edge there. Um, hopefully that'll be, uh, that'll fix me up for cleaning those. And this is the same thing. And this is probably the uh, medium um, fine, or medium India. See, it's got the same shape going on to it. So that'll be kind of handy. I'll put those in my, uh, my toolbox over by the lathe. And then, 
This right here is the uh, huh, the Norton Diamond Shaped India Fine. So it'll be just uh, I think they call it the Norton Diamond Shaped India Abrasive File Fine. Yep. So it's just kind of in the shape of a, a file. Um, but you've got a diamond cross section. So it'll be another good one to get into tight spots and um, clean things up. Now these last two right here, um, these are the ones that I was pretty excited about. I mean, I'm excited about all of them, but um, in one of the, the videos that I did not too long ago where I invited Ashley over to learn how to sharpen her first knife, um, you know, I like the, the crystalline coarse fine combos, right? Now, the crystalline fine leaves an edge that's a little bit toothier than what I like, and the uh, fine India leaves an edge that's a little bit finer than what I normally like. So I suggested, um, you know, for, for her to pick this stone up, because you can pick them up for about 20 bucks. But I didn't have one to be able to, you know, to, to test out, you know, personally. So this one right here is the Norton Fine India and Coarse India, I believe. Yep, Coarse, IB8 Coarse Fine. Um, I don't see where it says, uh, I believe these are aluminum oxide stones. But I don't see where it says that. So anyway, so I'll go ahead and, and sharpen up a couple of knives on this one, and um, um, you know, then I can do a review on it. This one does say made in Mexico, which I don't believe any of my other Nortons say that. So that one's pretty excited, exciting. And then this one right here is the beast. Nice silver box. Doesn't say anything on the the, the box. Look at that. Holy cow. Okay, it does say Norton Jumbo for, or Jum 4 made in Mexico. We've got a coarse side, we've got a fine side, and look at that. That thing is an inch and a half thick. We've got a total sharpening area here of, it's a hair under 12 inches long. Uh, a full two and a half inches wide and an inch and a half just a hair under an inch and a half thick that is a ginormous shaping stone this stone will probably last me oh, 15 years or so something like that um, actually hang on just a second I'll grab my other jumbo stone This one here is my other, uh, it says Crystalline Giant Jum 3. It says Norton and there's a bear mark on it also. So this one's, uh, like I said, this one was probably about an inch thick when I got it. And it is, uh, I've worn it down to about three quarters of an inch now. And it's a little bit larger than that old one. You can see a space over here. And as a size comparison, this uh, Fine India is 8 by 2 by 1. So we'll put all three of them up there so you can kind of see the size difference. And then without the, the vintage Jumbo Norton, look at that. That is a lot of sharpening power for... I want to say this one right here was $52 or $53, something like that. And it's just a gorgeous, huge, um, good shaping stone. So I'll get to test this one, you know, the, the new one versus my, my vintage one, and see if there's been any differences. Um, you know, like I said, this one right here is, uh, oh goodness, I don't know how old it was, but it was pretty dish when I got it. 
um, and then I've worn it down quite a bit so that's pretty exciting so we've got the the whole order here was the the jumbo crystalline coarse fine a couple of these what they call uh, multi-form super slips and then the diamond file or not the diamond file or yeah it is diamond shaped file in the fine India and some honing fluid and then once I go ahead and, and test these out and uh, work with them a little bit then I'll, I'll let you know my thoughts on them um, but pretty exciting unboxing I think anyway this is uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all um, you know I just got in the door went to you know check the mail had to do the you know had to see what I got so I figured I'd share it with you this is Joe Calton with Calton Cutlery. You can find me on the web, caltoncutlery.com. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.